Good afternoon. A country barking cook is back with y'all. I'm going to make some grilled cheese sandwiches. <clears throat> a little different. Don't know if you've ever tried this or not. I've got, well, it's Miracle Whip. It's a whip dressing by Wally World. It's real thin, goes on good. And I put that on all four pieces of bread. I've already done the other three. I use American cheese. This is, uh, I think it's great value. I can't remember if it's great value or which one it is. And it's craft. We must have had it on sale. Anyway, once you've got your toast buttered on the inside with mayo or Miracle Whip or whatever you want to use, you're going to add your cheese to it. It, does, it won't take long. I can only, I've never made this, but I know how long it takes to do grilled toast, and it doesn't take long. So, anyway, then you take your top slice, put it here. Back to the Miracle Whip. No butter. How about that? And I love butter, but. You're going to be surprised. I know this works. I've done this with uh, uh, grilled uh, toast on a flat top before without using butter. Just with mayo or Miracle Whip or whatever you got, whatever you like. There's so many brands. So, anyway, flip that over. It's a little messy. And I think this will be ready to go probably within about four or five minutes. We're going to cook it on air fry. Air fry is hot air circulating all over the place. And yes, I've got a plastic knife to use in here. I'm the only one that eats this. My wife doesn't, so I'm not going to cross-contaminate it. If I do, it's me. I'm not died yet from that. So anyway, take this. Of course, my air fryer's not on. Just put it in your air fryer and set it in. I'm, I try to get it to the middle. For some reason, this air fryer cooks hotter on the back side. And hit the start button. Let's see here. Move the camera around. Hit the start button. And I'm going to rotate it up to air fry, which is here. 350 degrees. The temp, the time is 20 minutes. It will never take that time. The temperature, I'm going to put it at 400. I like my grilled cheese kind of crispy. And hit the button. And it's going to start. So we're not going to sit here and watch the, the time go by. I'll just come back here in just a few minutes. Miracle Whip or whatever you want to use. You're going to add your cheese to it. It, does, it won't take long. I can only, I've never made this, but I know how long it takes to do grilled toast and it doesn't take long. So anyway, then you take your top slice, put it here. Back to the Miracle Whip. No butter. How about that? And I love butter, but you're going to be surprised. I know this works. I've done this with uh, uh, grilled uh, toast on a flat top before without using butter. Just with mayo or Miracle Whip or whatever you got, whatever you like. There's so many brands. So, anyway, flip that over. It's a little messy. And I think this will be ready to go probably within about four or five minutes. We're going to cook it on air fry. Air fry is hot air circulating all over the place. And 
And yes, I've got a plastic knife to use in here. I'm the only one that eats this. My wife doesn't, so I'm not going to cross contaminate it. If I do, it's me. I'm not died yet from that. So anyway, take this. Of course, my air fryer's not on. Just put it in your air fryer and set it in. I'm, I try to get it to the middle. For some reason, this air fryer cooks hotter on the back side. And hit the start button. Let's see here. Move the camera around. Hit the start button. And I'm going to rotate it up to air fry, which is here. 350 degrees. The temp, the time is 20 minutes. It will never take that time. The temperature, I'm going to put it at 400. I like my grilled cheese kind of crispy. And hit the button. And it's going to start. So we're not going to sit here and watch the, the time go by. I'll just come back here in just a few minutes. All right, it's about three minutes in at 400 on the air fryer. So let's take a peek and see what it looks like. And it's looking good. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. will melt the cheese inside since it's cooking on all sides. I could have done it on a broiler on one side and then the other side, but I think it's just better to put it on air fryer. I picked up this recipe years ago. I was out on a 50,000 acre ranch with my friend owned. His name was Raymond Beetle. He was a true asphalt cowboy. I worked for him. He ran a funny car, I'm not sure if any of y'all know what a funny car is or if you've ever kept up with drag racing or anything. But he was world champion many times. And he was just a great guy. He was a great chef. Um, I've got a recipe. I'm not sure how to get it over to print. I've got it saved, but maybe soon I'll get it for a cream style corn. It's a little bit of a hassle to do it, but it's well worth it. Oh man, it's just like you wouldn't believe. It's great. Anyway, we were on the ranch one weekend. They had a log house that had a swimming pool and it was the nicest of nice. And we had gone down and we were fishing uh, some of the ponds, pulling out some bass to bring out uh, to lower the numbers. And uh, got home, but we were too tired to lay the fish out. So Raymond said, let's just cook some grilled cheese. So that's good with me. I have a grilled cheese and a Pepsi or a cold beer, whatever. I can't remember what we were drinking that time. It may have been Slits, because I, I think we were sponsored at that time by Slits. Anyway, he had a commercial type kitchen there, and he had a big flat top stove, and he fixed these. And I seen him putting the mayo on both sides of the bread and flopped them down on the flat top and just started cooking them. I thought, what the heck is he doing? And he said, you want to know about that mayonnaise, no butter? And I said, yeah. He said, you just wait. And so, sure enough, it turned out great. So I decided this afternoon I would share this recipe with you. Raymond's gone. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's hard for me to even talk about it. I know the underside's cooked and it's melted. I'm going to switch this over to... Uh, I'm going to switch it over to air broil right quick just to finish that one side. And uh, he died of cancer. That man would do anything for you. You could call up in the middle of the night and say, hi, I need this. Never heard him say no. Never seen him get mad. I seen him flip upside down in his drag car in the funny car, roll a couple of times and come back out on all fours and get out and look like Rocky throwing his arms up in there. Matter of fact, you can catch that if you look at YouTube. Uh, in Florida, Raymond Beetle, you'll see that race. But he was, he was a true asphalt cowboy, and he was a great chef and a good buddy of mine. And I miss him to this day. All right, there it is. It didn't take long on that. I can smell it. It's hard to see in there, but you can sure smell it. 
I mean, get a pot holder here, 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 get this out. I like my grilled cheese kind of toasted pretty heavy. Uh, I don't want it lightly toasted. I want to know I'm eating grilled cheese. That'll be mine. This is for the wife. Let's see what the backside looks like. Oh yeah. It looks good. Now let's see what it looks like on the inside. Yes, it's hot. It's crispy. Perfectly melted cheese. It's a little hot. And uh, so anyway, if y'all like my recipes, please uh, subscribe to them. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, I hope to get better at this. I'm just an old dude leaving stuff for my kids and my friends to, to see once I'm gone. I hope it's a long time, but you never know. And uh, anyway, subscribe, leave me a comment. And especially leave me a comment if you know who Raymond Beetle was, if you ever, if you were ever into drag racing. He was out of Dallas, Texas, and I worked for him for a long time. I was a contract employee. So, y'all have a great day, and I will just talk at you later. A country boy can cook is out of here. That's a picture of Mistletoe, our three bar stud. Great quarter horse. Thanks for watching, the old dude cook. Please subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Plus, YouTube will know I'm here. They will give me recognition for doing these videos. Thank you so much.